Welcome everybody to the RGN Pro Series. We've got our North American region and we've actually had our schedule slim down just a little bit. It's gonna be two matches instead of the intended three. I think at one point we even had four, but nonetheless, we've got Mospaz versus CLG and this is gonna be an interesting one as uh, more group stage or more group stage and group B action specifically, but I am Sprawl by my side, the one and only Laser Jesus and I think you're just as excited about this one as I am, as, again, some implications here. Mousepaz already at 1-0. and zero. The rest of the group, other than CLG, doesn't have any wins. So Mousepaz, they could squeak out of this group uh, if they can pull off an upset here. It's definitely maybe not the most likely thing to happen, but we've seen some crazy things here at the Pro Series, haven't we? <laughs> oh, for sure. Look at Group D. Oh, what oh, happened yeah. over there? Right. I have no idea. But this match, in my opinion, decides the group. If, if Mousepaz can win it somehow over CLG, then they're going to be at 2-0. CLG is probably at 2-1, or will be at 2-1. CLG is probably safe in that scenario, but if Mousepaz want to avoid a tie with any of the other two, uh, they have to win this match. And if they win this one, they're pretty much through. Yeah, exactly. Again, sitting currently at 1-0. and zero, Only played the one match versus winout that we saw yesterday on Cobblestone. It was pretty dominant performance by them, to say the least. But here we go. Mirage underway. Mousepaz on the T side. It looks like they're going to send a lot of players towards Palace. Imsta, the only one holding a ramp. And then over towards Underpass, that's going to be Polly lurking through. Hopefully going to catch some connector, or rather some uh, rotating CTs once this executes underway. Yeah, we see this strat a lot now from a lot of T-side teams opening up. Hayes with the first frag. Polly's going to get a move on it uh, from Underpass to try to flank CLG. But CLG, interestingly enough, has just seceded the bomb site. They get the frag and then they all take their time. Problem being, Mouse Spaz comes in the CT spawn, drops two of them. Now they're sitting on the advantage. Polly has yet to come into uh, in the, into the scenario this round. CLG's not going to be ready for this flank. Even though they get that frag, JDM, easy kill by Polly and Mouse Spaz. They took advantage of what CLG did there. CLG decided to take the passive route and fall all their players back into CT spawn and wait for the rotate to come through. But Mouse Spaz just pushed into CT and CLG couldn't hold it. And that was pretty much the round as they had Polly at mid. Yeah, funny how we see the CT is going for, it, it's like a retake execute, and they just kind of fall back and then wait for all their teammates to get there, and then they're going to re-execute, and it's usually the T side that's doing their executions, but it was the T side that actually interrupted that retake execution, so like you had highlighted, good stuff there from Mouse Spaz, able to take the pistol round here on Mirage, pretty critical for them to do so again being one on the lesser favorite side and two being a pretty big underdog here it's gonna be fantastic for him but Hayes opens up in this round takes down Insta and underpass and actually Zek taking significant damage in top mid so a force buy here for CLG and they are doing some heavy mid aggression and is working out fantastic for them oh no not good for mouse pass here being it's a best of one and they're the heavy underdogs they need this momentum early when CLG showing why they're the overdogs here just snatching the momentum right back winning their force buy round it's not entirely a force buy but they get the job done giving mouse spaz too many angles to look at uh nullifying their trading ability and really good and a really good eco round coming out from clg and they might even survive with five and talking away uh, talk about a way to boost your economy but they could take zek and polly's galils here or galil and ak we're going to set up the trades here at mid for CLG. The member pushing up on Catwalk. One for one trade. And CLG with four. Collecting all these rifles. That almost works out better for them than winning pistol. Yeah, that is absolutely awesome for them. As the team ace comes in, every player on the CLGN getting a frag for themselves. And yeah, like you had stated, if you can win on eco like that, you, you don't even have to pay for the weapons you're utilizing in this next round. Other than that M4 that they'll put on Cutler. But otherwise, Galil's and AKs. Those are all courtesy of the T-sided mouse pads, so good stuff for CLG. Back in the driver's seat is maybe a little bit worried after that pistol round, but definitely looking a little bit better here from the mouse pads side. That's got to be super frustrating, like you had stated, in that they're the underdog. You really need that early momentum, especially if you pick up pistol. You need to get those two rounds thereafter. They didn't do it. Now going for an upgraded pistol buy here, more or less. Going to try and dive bomb into this A-bomb site, but it's Hayes to take down two of them. Long distance with that 5-7 Cutler with two, actually a third as well. And uh, easy round there from CLG. And this is looking a little bit scary now for the, the T-side most bad as those last two rounds, well, second round, they did lose one player, but in that last one, flawless for CLG. Yeah, if, if 
if I was if I was able to bet on this match, I mean, I I would have put a small bet on Mouse Bass, and after seeing that pistol round win, I probably would have got excited. Now right. <laughs> we're seeing why that nine to one <laughs> favorite is coming through. Now CLG looking really good, getting their economy going. If Mouse Bass don't get a couple kills here, it's not going to be good for them. They are trying to utilize P250s out mid, and that's the best pistol at range for the T side, in uh, my opinion. Oh my God, needs hey. to work. He's got so many kills with that 5.7. He's got, right. what, six now in the past yeah, two rounds? I think so. I why, think why, so. Buy, why buy a weapon if, you, if you're that accurate with a 5.7? And 10K. he's got so much money, 10,000. The only counter argument to that is imagine he gets those six frags with an SMG, but he would have obviously invested a lot more in that SMG to start. But I, I think it would have equated to be a little bit more money than he would have thrown into it to begin. He still but... hasn't bought anything. Yeah, the man's, uh, he's a madman. As he gets dropped to Galil here, going to, uh, receive that, and, yeah, he actually, I think he dropped four teammates. He's yeah, 5,300, he so, that's where that op comes into play is. He's gonna be positioned in mid here. Ooh, haze. Takes a grenade right underneath the feet, so down to 50 hit points. Tarek, similar situation as he gets knocked down to 34, so, so, early damage here. Four mouse spams, we'll see if they can make it work as... They are uh, currently controlling mid. Got a player coming through underpass. Fruit actually still in uh, the A apartments. So options are open here for the T side. Yeah, you saw how uh, reluctant CLG was to give up that middle presence. They had both JDM and Hayes trying to peek it. JDM now under some threat. As Mouse Pass has been allowed to work up inside of the window room. Cutler with a good frag onto Fruit, who perhaps should have waited a bit longer to come out of apartments. He could have used his position a little better. Of course, if he would have got the frag, then Mouse Pass would have been a massive advantage. Oh, Imsta through the wall into Hayes. That nade earlier, now coming back to haunt Hayes. This Imsta was able to find the kill right away into our, through the wall. But Mouse Pass here is walking into the, the favored bomb site here for CLG. Yeah, that's the downside. As we can see, 30 seconds left in... Cutler's probably been calling that he has not heard anything in A apartments or ramp, and they're going to be slowly walking to the bomb site. CLG boosted, or sorry, uh, Tarek currently boosted inside of the bomb site. They take down FNS. Oh, and they take down Tarek as well, Zek. Critical frag there, as no damage is done by Tarek at all. And now it's JDM and Cutler, and I don't know if they're going to go for this here, as they've got an op to play with. They don't really want to give that away to the T side as obviously a large investment for them and yeah they're just gonna head on back and save you can see full need sets on both the players so a ton of money to lose if they do drop the round cutler's gonna get a little aggressive and actually jdm finds a frag inside a ct spawn but they lose cutler's equipment and now it will be a one on three again just save scenario jdm really wants to hang on to this op yeah on the other side i don't mind him going for these kills here uh and that's the downside of going for the kills now he doesn't get any and loses his AWP, but if he could have kept the monetary situation lower for Mouse Baz, just one more kill, in the dropping scenario, three players can drop two, two players can't drop three. Could have been a minor difference to keep the Mouse Baz economy a little more at bay, but CLG winning those three rounds after Pistol so cleanly is going to allow them this buy and maybe even another one. CLG playing the economy game really nicely, with the exception of the ending of that last round. Now Mouse Baz. They found their success at middle in the previous round. Now they're not going for middle control. They're getting control, or they eventually are, but not as quickly. Now they're taking out, trying to come down from below as well. CLG really reluctant to give control of middle here. They really want to contest this. And it's JDM specifically in the window room. Probably going to be hard to deal with, but he actually jump peaks towards underpass and takes a lot of damage from Imsta there. So now it's to fall off and play a little bit more passive as... Demise actually pushed up on Catwalk here. Going into ladder room, might be able to find it an advantage from that location, as there's actually no one in window room. Again, JDM has moved off of that location. So we'll see if they're able to make anything work, but again, Imsta and Polly both underneath the window. They're actually going to work a boost up into the smoke, so interesting play here. JDM isn't careful. Oh, he actually is scoping directly into the smoke, but he's switching his focus back and forth towards the A-bomb site and towards windows so if they can find the timing here in mouse spaz they can take down jdm that would be a huge frag to open up this map as it would cut things in half for the cts but fns comes up from ladder takes down two and that is an insane way to bring things back color with one as well on that a bomb site means a two on three mouse spaz had a pretty big opportunity there but now moving slowly into this a bomb site uh, things are looking a little bleak. Insta, last one alive and will go down. So, Mouse Pass, I feel like they had a bit of an advantage, but again, 
leaving things a little bit later than FNS coming up on Catwalk in a ladder room. Big play for him there. Yeah, had FNS not done that and not had that timing, Mousepass probably would have been able to take that. Mousepass has been doing a really good job of keeping JDM's op at bay in the window and getting mid control. CLG, I'm surprised we haven't seen a middle aggression from them yet. We see this often from them with their mid rush. Maybe uh, these teams have played against each other and CLG's uh, not comfortable going for that. Perhaps we'll see it later. Usually CLG is really aggressive with their mid control. And you see uh, the adjustment from Hazed over here. Now he's peeking mid, but the past two rounds, he's been playing more passive inside of A. Is that respect for Mouse Baz? Or is just CLG trying to make an adjustment? Not too sure yet. We'll see in the later rounds, but now Mouse Baz going for some upgraded pistols in towards B, F, and S. Eat the flashbang and a dig. His teammates are about to go down. No, Tarek's not going to go down. They have so little HP. 14 and 7. One bullet more would have killed both Tarek as well as F and S. Could have amounted in a bomb plant, but CLG, great recovery. Even though it was an eco round, that, that could have easily went Mouse Baz's way. Definitely. They had some really nice nades as they were breaking into the bomb site, flashbangs and all. And Tarek was actually white screen for a good amount of time as they were flooding out of the apartments. Yeah, great flashes. He, uh, he had an incendiary that he knew how to throw even when he was fully white screen. So good on him to have that even if, again, he doesn't have some of those senses available to him. Obviously one being sight. Uh, so he drops it at the end Pretty of the important. balcony. And that was definitely a nice way to at least kind of screw up and delay the play maybe potentially but they did all funnel out and ended up being a nice hold for the clg end now mouse baz coming up on a bit of a force by here poly with only a tech nine they're gonna smoke their way into the a bomb site we can see the wall of smokes connector and jungle all uh, actually secluded but it's color and haze to get through big frags here haze actually pushes the smoke at the top of connector goes back into connector takes down poly minimize and zek we'll have to try and salvage the situation and Zek, he's my star on Mouse Baz. Gotta show me why right now. Get smoked out. Good luck taking that fight versus four. Goes down. And CLG move up six to two. That mid aggression I was just referring to came out that round. And that was the round that Mouse Baz went for a straight up A take. In, uh, you know, based upon the rock, paper, scissors at the start of the round, that should have favored Mouse Baz. But CLG somehow, uh, from Connector and Jungle, despite being smoked out, get all those kills. Mouse Baz need to clean up their A take a bit because really they should won that based upon the early round uh, strategies by both teams. It looked like they all kind of had their own ideas as to where they wanted to go after those smokes went down. Because in theory, you should probably just kind of camp outside of those jungle and uh, and connector smokes, hoping that someone pushes through. Because that's exactly what Hayes did. Uh, tried to get aggressive through it and, and made it work. So um, Polly maybe, for example, instead of going into the jungle smoke in a window, uh, there's some other ideas he could have put into play. But nonetheless, we got an eco coming out from the Mouse Baz lineup. And boy, so good. are they getting clothesline right now. Demise comes up with one, takes down JDM, but... That will be the extent of their success as CLG. They are, uh, they're in a comfortable spot here. You can see everybody yeah. over 10,000. And you can just see the control of Haze here. Just nutty with that. It, it was a little treacherous of a situation because if JDM doesn't hit that first shot, Haze had just pulled a Molotov. And if JDM doesn't hit that first one, they're probably going to get overran there. So good teamwork between Haze and JDM definitely can tell they've been in that situation numerous times. And CLG has not aggressed mid yet when uh, Mousepass has been going for their slow middle control. But if they're not going to need it if JDM is going to start hitting his shots here. Comes back to mid. Sure, he's already smoked out, but he's already done his job early on in the round. Hits a good nade onto Imsta as well. So CLG here with uh, the early round advantage. And at inside of the A apartments... Fruit hasn't been finding uh, a good enough timing for Mouse Baz here. He's, he's, he's no Xantaras in that location, Chad. No, unfortunately not. Obviously, Xantaras is very impressive with some of his individual play. And JDM, I just want to highlight that when he got that shot in mid, he was actually dinked with an HE grenade right before he took the shot. It was actually quite hilarious. Thought he'd be a little bit rocked and out of it, but nonetheless hits the shot. But it's Mouse Baz opening up onto this A bomb site. Hayes will be able to fire back as he's playing from a ramp, but dropped by Insta, so two on three. Looking like uh, their best chance at a round, but FNS from the jungle area. Takes down one, damages Zek as well. Polly critical in the situation as FNS coming up from behind, and he takes him down. Only Tarek left. Let's see that Tarek AWP. Now we got a not battle. Zek versus Tarek. Zek has the read on where Tarek is going to peek from. Tarek slowly peeking his way up from connector. Zek 
decides he wants to make it a bayonet battle. Get close down and dirty with that AWP. Peeking around for Tarek. Tarek keeps out, gets the one versus two. And Zek, uh, could have planted there. He had the bomb, right, Chad? Yeah, he did. I, I, I think he was trying to force this, the situation, but like Tarek for that perfect. Yeah, that was a really good read by, by Tarek. And in that situation, Zek should plant, but... That's what Tarek was. It, it's it's kind of like I I know you know that I know type situation. Exactly. And for Tarek yeah. to sit all the way back there after Zek didn't plant for so long is is the ultimate read. And that that shot as well. I do believe that was a no scope headshot. So, uh, that was uh, impressive stuff to say the very least from Tarek. All plan. I'm gonna live there. Oh, of course, of course. As coming up in middle, it's gonna be Mouse Spaz trying to make something work once again. JDM manages to find fruit and it's going to be demise actually he makes it all the way up connector but dropped by jdm as well insta zek poly trying to make something work here in the a bomb site zek still in mid but he's going to get dropped as well imsta near a ramp gets knifed via haste <laughs> and that's going to be the end of that round mouse pass with only two here on their t side need to uh, come up with a couple rounds before the end of this half as two rounds on their t side it's just not going to cut it here a clg on their t side even if they had a bit of a weaker T side on Mirage, which honestly I don't think they do, um, two rounds just not going to cut it here. No, not at all. And Mouse Spaz has been doing a good job strategically uh, countering uh, counter logic gaming here. Problem being, CLG fragging ability is really hard to contest with when you have. I'm not trying to diss on FNS, but it's probably detracted due to his uh, calling. But the other four on CLG are really sick fraggers. And if Mouse Pass can't stack up in those aim duels, uh, even even if they have the right strategy, CLG's probably going to win. In this round, Mouse Pass goes for an A take, and they don't get much from it. Hayes and Cutler go to work, and that is a deadly duo at the A bomb site. Oh, yeah, certainly is. CT half looking pretty darn good here on the CLG end. Mouse Spaz in this round with about 3,500 on each player. And at this point, with 13 or the 13th round going live, uh, got to go with the Force Buy. And that's what they're going to do. Lil's across the board. A decent set of nades. And they're going to focus at least primarily towards the B-bomb site and middle. It's Demise and Zek trying to work that location. But JDM and Hayes have been super effective here. Again, going back to even when Hayes just had... A simple 5-7 in this connector position. It was pretty darn effective. So now with a rifle, doing big things. JDM takes down D-Mines first and foremost in the round. Zek now all alone at top mid. Hayes just peeks out towards underpass. Takes down two immediately. Zek able to take him down thereafter. But now he finds himself in a 1v4. And that's just a bleak situation to say the least. Yeah, Zek did, so, uh, did do some sick stuff yesterday. But man... I am sad that we don't have an Alpha Draft match today. Because boy, would I have loved to, to pick that Haze, man. He would have so right. many points at this point. And 27 and 6, my god. Yeah, and that that might you boost him, but the next time we do our Alpha Draft stuff, he might even be above Cutler, who is pretty much the, the salary god at this point. Yes, we're going to be moving into the 14th round. The Lils once again across the board, and that's what force buying every round is gonna get you unfortunately but at this point they, they just want rounds so can't really blame them as fruit gonna take out top mid once again with zek and targ's actually the one opping inside of that location they've shifted jdm to work the side of this palace smoke interesting so they smoke in a palace that would be the audio cue that it's probably safe to move on up close to that smoke but jdm's on the side of it with some tricky play that we're not gonna see result in a frag but still fun stuff to witness as the T-side mouse pass just again heavy mid presence and this is probably their best chance at uh, working something off mid being that JDM is positioned elsewhere the only problem for me being is they have no knowledge on where CLG is other than they're not at mid and they have no other prong to attack from and it's going to be hard to get the job done here. Okay, there's the other prong. They boost the guy up into window room. Polly gets the frag, but FNS is there with the trade. He's so good at finding these windows to counter mouse pass when they're trying to take into A. FNS gets another one. Has to do with Polly in the window. Second Polly here. One versus two. Two versus two. And as Zek finds JDM, Polly's still stuck in the window. Tarek preventing any movement from him. They do trade back and forth, but Cutler wins the duel inside of the site. Now this makes Polly's position hard to work from. He does have a one versus one in the bomb site. For the time being, but not for long, as Tarek is now there. Trades are set up for CLG and Polly. He's got to go for this, but he's got to make it past Tarek. 
And unfortunately, he's not going to be able to do so. Tarek looking pretty on point here with that AWP. As he does bring it out every now and again when they want to get that second AWP working. Tarek is uh, one of those players that, quite honestly, is rifle fantastic. But he just has this little urge that he wants to op as well. And it's interesting to note as... Again, he's a standout rifler, one that you probably want to have rifling most of the time, but he does like to pick up this up, and honestly, he has done some uh, pretty darn cool stuff with it, so imagine it'll continue here as we've got an A-side play. JDM comes up with a big frag onto Zek, starting off the frags in the round as he peeked into Palace. No refrag to note as Polly and Fruit were there, but didn't actually catch the engagement or why they weren't able to refrag, but nonetheless, hazed onto Imsta. 3v5 before they even started their execute. Yeah, these have both been through smokes. Not sure about the one with JDM. Perhaps it was before it bloomed, but I've seen him hit some nutty stuff at mid through smokes so far. And now Demise, Polly, and Fruit. Last guys up here. What's their plan? They send Polly on a mission to sell a fake. Hopefully he can get his salesman on. But still taking the fights here is Mouse Baz over towards A. So I don't... They're trying to utilize... Polly's position in, in, in the wrong way. They have to make Polly make the first move to suggest to CLG that they're not at A, but CLG is not sold on anything, and they still have, they're outnumbering Mouse Badge when they're trying to take in. Yeah, Fruit's gonna go down, as well as Demise, and that will be the end of the half. 13 to 2 as Mouse Spaz. They honestly had the best start possible in winning Pistol Round, but just couldn't get that second round in, and that's where the coordination of Mouse Pass worked out fantastic in that second round. But uh, anyhow, guys, I do have something to announce. One of our new partners is doing uh, an awesome giveaway bundle. So you guys should definitely check it Probably out it's on Twitter. Yet. Honestly, it's fantastic. It's from Enermax. Again, one of our new partners here. If you guys are interested in uh, any cases, if you need a power supply, if you need liquid coolers, if you need any of that stuff, definitely check out Enermax as they've got some fantastic products in that category. And for the giveaway specifically, We've got, uh, again, a fantastic bundle. We've got a case, which is, it's nice RGN blue. It's really awesome. Uh, you've got a uh, power supply. You've got a liquid cooler as well as uh, a notebook cooler. So it goes right underneath your uh, laptop just so it doesn't overheat and that kind of fun stuff. So anyhow, to get in on that, uh, all you need to do is jump on Twitter. Follow at GoRGNTV as well as at Enermax Global. So that's going to be inside of our chat. So if you guys need to figure out uh, exactly what I just said, uh, you will be able to find it there. So definitely give it a look and retweet that specific tweet mentioning the bundle and you are entered in. Giveaway will be done at the end of the Pro Series as uh, we're actually reaching uh, close to bracket stages here in North America. But Pistol Round 2 live CLG looking for an A-side execute. Very simple bus here. One flash, one smoke, one nade. That's all the nades being deployed from CLG. They're just trying to get in their face with their block. And it's working thus far. JDM gets the opener on the demise. Good smokes by CLG. I lied, there's two smokes. I'm sorry, guys. There's one on top of the stairs and one in the jungle area. But Mouse Pass, they do find a frag here. As Mouse Pass still trying to move in. Haze with one, though. Trying to take out from Connector. Shut down in CT spawn. There's only Insta here. Too many terrorist side members up. 14 to 2 for CLG. And just very simple and uh, effective stuff there. Uh, called by FNS. It's, it's pretty much as classic, uh, classic of an A take as you can get. You smoke off top of stairs. Smoke off jungle. Isolate CT. Overwhelm with your Glocks. And that's how you do it. Yeah, great pistol comes out from CLG. And getting that second pistol. Honestly, it should guarantee a quick closeout here for CLG. Mouse Baz going with default pistols says in the next round, they're just going to force buy as uh, if they don't win this one, it'll be 15 for the T side. But CT's in uh, Mouse Baz actually going for an A side play where they all rush a ramp Tarek. Not able to get a single frag there as he <laughs> peeks out from behind. That's quite possibly the best position you could be in uh, to counter that play. But nonetheless, it's going to be Hayes to... Uh, salvage things back towards the CLG favor. Takes down two. They do have to deal with Zek. He has a uh, Galil in hand, but they're actually still way over in Ape House, hoping that it'd be an A side take. As we could see, though, not not gonna happen, guys. This is so uncharacteristic of Tarek. Right. That, that's like the easiest 4K of his life. Normally, we see him get the 4Ks when everybody's peeking him, but suddenly, when you have your back turned to Tarek, I guess he decides to start spraying. Yeah, I, I don't easy think frags you know, can sometimes be the hardest, I guess. <laughs> I, oh, that's so true in Counter-Strike, but I, I thought, I guess Tar thought there was less there when he decided to go for the spray. Yeah, he could probably spray down so. one guy. But yeah, 
to go on to that, any player that isn't looking at you and that is moving, they're just, you can't headshot them. It's really hard. It really is. <laughs> to make for some of the funnier frag clips as, um, yeah, you just expect them to hit those shots and sometimes it just doesn't work out. So 15 to 2, though, most pass. They bring that Galil into the next round. And of course, again, they were going to force buy in this one. So it means that they'll couple that with the FAMASs that they put on the field. And CLG not interested in really upgrading any further. Well, they got two AKs on the field, but still with an MP7 on Hayes Tark, just going with the Tech 9, all he desires, and putting a number of players towards A ramp early. We'll have Cutler and F and F, the two AK players, split up towards A or towards B in middle. Interesting decision here as they take towards A. Yeah, I don't know about this call from FNS. They're trying to exploit their A bust. Mousepass has to deal with these A players. Wow, FNS catches the cat, guys. So everybody at A is going to go down pretty soon here, unless JDM, he stays alive. Now, all position CLG has is at middle. Do boost the guy up in the window room. So maybe able to catch Fruit off guard if he's not careful here. Cutler just about to get the flank under Fruit. Here it comes. Oh, no, Fruit barely makes it out of there. And Zek is still sitting under the balcony. So CLG moving up their positions very slowly. Zach decides to go inside of the balcony. I'm not sure if somebody spotted him out now. FNS does. Look how patiently CLG is working this. They know the situation here. They find fruit. Now just Zach one on two from the balcony. I don't know about this one. He's got to take down Cutler before his teammate can peek with them. Zach could have worked out a lot better. But CLG showing why they're the 9-1 to one overdogs. 16-2. to two. These guys, so, they just dominate sometimes.